is Coach Karan Godwin. I want to introduce to you the new Ball Hog Gloves X Factor. It takes away your grip, so the ball slips out of your hands. You really got to be able to control the ball. I like them a lot. You know, I think the added weight really helps. And I feel like this right here is going to make a big difference. For more drills, follow at Coach Godwin and go to ballhoggloves.com. On a chilly 57-degree night in Southern California, it is a packed house better than 19,000 making their way into Staples Center in L.A. And the play able to put it behind his back for Durant. Nice unselfish play there by Curry. To the rim! Whoa! Absolutely no way that... Pretty play. Curry was able to finish. He and DeMarcus Cousins rotated as the starting centers on fires. Yes. Curry, a high off glass. The degree of difficulty with a defender on his hip, still able to use that glass. Here's a three from Curry. Steph Curry with his first three of the night. He's one of Oh, it's picked off by Iguodala. Thompson pops. Not able to hit. Curry with the rebound and scores. This is his first half watch down. Curry eluding felt met by Griffin. And he draws the foul. Curry quickly to the front court. And able to bank it home. And this game is so interesting. You heard Charles, you know, guaranteeing a Clipper win. Curry on a step back. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just wow. Doesn't need a lot of time to get that shot off, run to that three-point line. And Without Draymond Green, as Thompson able to hit, and he's picked it up after the slow start. Yeah. It's Curry splitting through, going all the way. He scores, it counts, <laughs> and the foul. And this young man is just a magician with the basketball. Look how he's weaving through three white jerseys. Iguodala for three. Andre Iguodala, who came on following the timeout. Durant with the short Got. pop. About calling the East-West practice Saturday morning because I want to see the dynamic as Curry knocks down an 18-footer. Let's face it, there's bad blood between Westbrook and Durant. Curry knocks down a very difficult 18-footer. But what are you guys going to do in the playoffs? Every time they seem to get to October 15th, tax time. Gets off a scoop. It counts. Iguodala off the drive with a deep underhand going glass. Well, you can't rest versus this Golden State team. As Curry gets in on a reverse. Randy Smith at one time is considerable. Nice pass. Curry somehow found the cutting Clark. 34. Curry. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> it's clown time. Nearly 90 minutes before tip-off, Del Curry, the color commentator for Hornets telecast, grabbing that pass from, from Steph, and he banked in that deep three-pointer while dressed in a tie and a suit. <laughs> and Steph couldn't believe it. Clippers do have a foul to give. Here's Thompson for three. Yes. Oh, Durant hits a three. Thompson hits it. Curry finds Iguodala for three. Yes. At one point, the Warriors led by as many as 21. And they won it 120 to 133. All right, Steph, for your thoughts on winning 12 of your last 13. And tonight, only two of your usual five starters on the court. But you guys still continue to roll. Yeah, we got a deep team, and um, all the guys fit into the, the roles and executing our, you know, our game plan, our identity every night, no matter who suits up. So we'd rather be healthy, have everybody out there, but to have a showing like this on a back-to-back -back with um, so many guys out is, is a big, big-time night. What do you have to say about the offensive efficiency tonight? Again, shooting over 50% from the field, and then you guys are right, what, 37 assists on? It's just incredible. We... Uh, we're unselfish and we know how to move without the ball and and just find the open guy um it's kind of contagious when the ball hops and everybody touches it and gets involved whoever has that shot you, you know you like your chances of it going in so 
Um, it's the way we play, and when we do it well, we usually get wins. And you guys look like you have a great time. Uh, speaking of having fun, you and your dad the other day with that three-point shot that he hit, have you guys talked about that moment? Because it was pretty spectacular. Yeah, he came in the locker room after the game last night and uh, had his chest all puffed up. <laughs> uh, he said he called himself the originator. The originator? So what you expect, that's what he does, and it was pretty cool to see uh, him step out, knock that shot down for the game, and and, uh, and make it happen. All right, great stuff, Steph. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Barb.